job telling how to work with tools Cause we're under God's construction And he's got a plan He'll even use two funny puppets and a godly man So join us today to see And he's got a plan He'll even use two funny puppets And a godly man He'll even use two funny puppets And a godly man Reginald? Hey! Ba 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 Fricky. Fricky. His name is Bob. Not whatever noise you made. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Bob. Reginald, Fricky, they're so lucky me like to see. Good morning! It's wonderful to be here. Yes, it is. It seems a bit noisy in here. Let me close the door. Yes, and it's not just Fricky making a noise. Sorry, guys. Ah, that's better. That's better, man. Yes. Vandaag moet ons a meer plaats slaan. Whoa, whoa. We're going to knock down a wall. We're going to walk. We're going to knock down a wall. I have the perfect tool. I have a wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. No, no, Fricky. No. No, ons, no, no. Ook iets. Ons moet hier plannen volgen. Als ons niet die plannen volgen, die rechte manieren gebruikt, dan gaat het absoluut niet werken. Nie. That's right. We must stick to the plan. Plans are cool. Plans are important. Ik stem saam. Een meesterplan. Anders zal ons iets doen wat ons niet moet doen. Nie. Ons gaan zeer krijgen of ons gaan niet meer. Rech afslani. That's correct. I know this. I've been taught this. If you build and you don't stick to the master's plan, it's useless. Useless. That gaan nie werk nie. Actually, Fricky, Bob, there's a scripture. Psalm 127 verse 1. Can I tell you? Asseblief. Say for ons. Please do, Reggie. Psalm 127 verse 1 If the Lord doesn't build a house the work of the builders is useless mm -hmm. That's what we're learning today If the Lord doesn't build a house the work of the builders is useless Useless That gaan nie werk nie Die plan moet ons volg Psalm 1, 2, 7. So can I teach Fricky this? Yes, please. Say it with me. Psalm 127, verse 1. Psalm 127, verse 1. If the Lord... If the Lord... Doesn't build a house... Doesn't build the house... The work of the builders... The work of the builders... Is useless. Is useless. That's right. This reminds me of a story in the Bible. The Bible? I love the Bible. Wow, we all do. Let me tell you the story. Is that okay, Bob? I should believe also the story where? Story time! Yes, now Fricky, you're going to pay attention. Okay. It's a story about the Tower of Babel. See, Long, long time ago, the stories in the Bible, it happened like this. Many years ago, everybody in the world spoke the same language. Everyone, one common language. There was no Chinese, there was no English, there was no 
Spanish. They all spoke the same language and because of this, they decided to do something together. They decided to build the biggest and the coolest and the highest and the tallest, the craziest, most amazing tower ever. They wanted to be the first prize winners of the best tower. And they planned to build it so high and even higher and even higher and even higher because they wanted to show everyone how cool they were. They wanted to do things on their own and not follow God's plan. They wanted to build a tower that would reach up into the heavens. See, sometimes, friends, we try to impress our friends by doing things in our own will, our own plans, and not trusting God because we want to brag. But what God wants he wants his glory and what happened with the Tower of Babel they built it brick by brick and they built it higher and higher and they kept on working because they wanted to show off how cool they were and they didn't want to stick to God's plans and they built higher and higher and they thought they were the best and the coolest and they had pride in their hearts and they wanted to show the world look at us but remember God gave us our brains he gave us intelligence God gave us our hands to do things he gave us creativity and God wants us to be creative. He loves it when we are creative, but he wants us to follow his plans. So at the Tower of Babel, God came down and he created confusion. He changed the languages. One was going, he ha he ha ha, and the other one's going, blah, 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 blah. Sounded like fricky. And they couldn't understand each other. So when they gave instructions, they got it wrong and they couldn't work together. God had confused their plans because they didn't want to follow God's plans. And that's why they scattered. They ran away all over the world and their plan failed. Friends, remember, we must follow God's plan because when God is in it, it will always work out well. Thank you, God, that we can trust in your plans. And you see, guys, that's the story of the Tower of Babel. Wow! Ek het nie geweet van die story nie. Dit maak soveel sin om een plan te volg. Yes, it does. Wow, plans are important. And it's got to be God's, God's plan. plan. God's plan. Yeah. So, always follow the plan. Oh, so that means no wrecking ball today. No so wrecking ball. I won't be ball. on a wrecking ball. <laughs> fricky, Planne, fricky, fricky, fricky. Planne. Can't wait for the day to start. So I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. 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 So remember, kids, to wash your hands with soap and water, get the mask clean, and don't forget your face mask. And he's got a friend You even used to find